did a- did Abraham believe God? Do you think Abraham had an explicit knowledge of the Trinity? Yes, and Saint Maximus says he did. Okay, so he knew the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. All right. Um, As you can see, one of our biggest theological differences is if the prophets knew about the Holy Trinity. And as Chen Horn stated, he doesn't believe that. Yet we Orthodox do. It's fundamental to us. And that's only because in the Thomistic view, God cannot enter into creation. So they don't believe in the theophanies. They don't believe God appeared in the Old Testament, but they were angels. And that's what Augustine said. That's what Thomas Aquinas says. Aquinas actually says that it's a hologram. So the Old Testament saints were worshiping a created thing. They, were, they weren't worshiping God. They were worshiping something created or an angel or whatever else created, but not God. And then all the statements where God says that he appeared or they saw God. And even the ground was holy because of the Lord God there and the voice came out of the fire. And his voice came out of the fire. It was his fire that they saw. Yet they say that all of these are not God, but creator things. So I would like to ask a Thomist, a Catholic Thomist, how did the incarnation happen then if God cannot enter into creation? And if God is inseparable with no distinctions and having distinctions doesn't mean separation. But in your view, where there's no distinctions, how could God, the lowest, enter into creation and take on flesh? And how can the divine energy and power of God be in, in time and space? And what about the Holy Spirit that is in, in time and space and in us? Are these created things too? Is the Holy Spirit created? Or is it truly God in us? Which also goes to created grace. And created light. Is the light of God created? Of course not. And then we also have the relics of the saints. Where they touched the clothes of St. Paul and his body. And they were healed and miracles happened with the divine energies which are uncreated so how did that happen in the earth in time and space since there was not even a command by the Lord or the Apostles but just by touching a relic of a saint who was holy they were healed through the divine energies of the saint that's in him are those created energies or the uncreated energies of God and relics only are not only in the New Testament but they are also in the Old Testament where someone was thrown into the grave of Elisha and when the dead man touched the bones of Elisha he revived Shown again divine energies and relics of the saints in the Old Testament. We also have the Ark with the divine energies. And what about the Eucharist? You say you believe in the real presence, but if God cannot enter into creation, as you say, how is the Eucharist real? Is it a created Eucharist? Is created body and blood of Christ the presence? Is it a created presence, not the real presence? I'm confused here, guys. 
Please, Annie Thomas, can you help me?